show you guys is how to do a um, screen capture, how to take a screen capture of your screen. So if I want to take a screen capture picture of my screen, uh, let me show you how we're going to do that. I am going to take my photo and I'm going to move it out. I'm going to copy it. Let me show you how to copy something. If I want to move it, I can just move it. Pull it right over here. And now I took it out of the photos folder and put it on the desktop. If I want to copy it, I don't want to just move it. I want to copy it. I can leave it here and copy it into the photos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and take it over the photos column because the photos column is highlighted to my left. So that means anything in this area is actually inside that photos folder, right? But what I'm going to do before I let go, I'm going to hold my option key down. And when I hold the option key, you'll notice there's a little green plus symbol that shows up. That means it's copying it. So anytime universally on a Mac, if you want to copy something, if you click and drag it and hold the option key, it will make a copy of it. And that's true in Photoshop and in InDesign and in Illustrator. In a lot of software, if you want to copy something, copy a layer or copy an image or copy a photo or whatever, if you hold the option key it will and drag it, it will create a, a duplicate. So now if I let go, notice I have the photo here in the Photos folder as well as on my desktop. So that is how you uh, create a copy, an easy way to create a copy of something other than Command C and Command V, copy and paste. All right, so if I'm going to do a screen capture, you know, what I want to do is firstly is I'm going to do a screen capture of this image. So let's pretend I'm looking at something on the internet and I want to screen capture that. I can do uh, a key, the key commands are command. I hold the command key, the shift key, and then I type the number three and you're going to hear a click. That just took, and you see it right down here, that, and I'm going to pull it out of there and stick it right there. So now I have a screen capture of my screen with the photo open, okay? So there's, that's how you do that. And if I close that, so there's my brisket picture here, right? And here is my picture of my brisket picture <laughs> on my screen, okay? So that's how you do a screen capture. Now, let's say I don't want the entire screen. I just want a part of my screen, okay? So if I click on this photo, and I'm gonna open that up. Let's say I just want the meat part right here, okay? I can do a Command, Shift, and then I type the number four. Hold the Command key, hold the Shift key, type the number four. And then I get this little um, uh, little target-like, little crosshairs. So now I can come over here and click and hold and drag a box over the area that I want to capture. And when I let go of the mouse, it takes a picture. And so there's my, there's my screen capture. Oh, now I'm getting hungry. That's some good brisket right there, man. Now I'm getting hungry for lunch. So there is my screen capture of just the meat. So here's the photo. Here's my screen capture of my entire screen. You can see it's got the menu bar and everything and the photo. And this is my zoomed in screen capture of just the meat. So that's how you do a screen capture. Okay, so if I wanted to, let's say, screen capture my folder that I made that shows everything, I would open up the folder like this, 
then I would do hold the command key, the shift key, and type the number three. And now there's my picture right there. And that's the screen capture of what I did. All right.